Hey guys, it is Reese Hignall here, and I'm so excited to be presenting this episode of A Better World Starts at Home by IKEA Australia. Today, we're gonna to check out all the sustainable food options in store and create a really, really cool recipe. So come along. Hey Kelly! Hey Reese. <laughs> um, I'm so excited to be here at IKEA, especially in the Swedish food market. I don't know if you know this about me, but I like to eat a plant-based diet and I've been noticing all these different plant-based substitutes around the market. Well actually here at IKEA we're really committed to offering sustainable and plant-based options and we've got some amazing options to show you here today. Awesome, well I'm really excited so let's go shopping! Let's go. <laughs> Okay, Kelly, these oils look amazing and they're all organic. Yeah, no synthetic pesticides or fertilizers, so it's great with bees and other insects for pollination. Well, perfect. I'll grab the organic oil and what are these Nordic grains here? Yeah, these are a new product that we have here at IKEA. They're a great alternative to rice or pasta and they can be served warm or hot. Nice. Well, we'll definitely grab those. Oh, Kel, this is the hot dog station. Yeah. <laughs> I know IKEA is known for doing a hot dog ride, but I didn't know IKEA had some vegetable hot dogs. Yeah, this is something we've recently launched here at IKEA Tempe. It's our new vegetarian version of our famous hot dog. It has kale, red lentils, ginger and carrots. Delicious. Well, I definitely think I've got an idea of what I can cook with these. So I'm going to take a packet, head upstairs and cook lunch. But thank you so much for showing me around. I'll see you later for lunch, right? Bye. <laughs> Catch ya. Hey Matt. Hey Reese, how are you going? Good, I've just been down at the Swedish food market and I've got these three really great ingredients. So I think we use the veggie dogs to make this really delicious um, Moroccan tagine. The grains are gonna go into a grain salad. Then the rapeseed oil, we're gonna use in everything, but I'm gonna finish with a bit of the salsa verde as well. Great. We've got some sausages already in the bowl here. Great. So we're gonna go into the pan just with some of the rapeseed oil. Not too much, because what we're gonna do with these sausages is just start them off by um, giving them a bit of color in the pot. I like to do it in the same pot that I'm gonna cook the tagine in because it's all gonna add a little bit of flavor. Whenever we see caramelization, yeah. it's flavor. <laughs> So they go in and we just start the cooking. So this is what we're looking for, Matt. Mm -hmm. Just like this color along the side here. Yeah. We don't want to really overcook them because they'll get a bit too tough. So just looking for that little bit of caramelization over the outside. And once we've got that little bit of color, they can come off the heat because we need to keep in mind they'll keep cooking in the stew. Okay. So I'm happy with that color. Yep. So I'm gonna turn the heat off and we've got to do a little bit of chopping now. Great, <laughs> cool. Excellent. So these sausages I'm just gonna take out and place to the side. And there's still a little bit of um, leftover oil in the pan. So mm -hmm. we're gonna use that to cook our onions, our garlic and our chili. Okay. So I'm gonna chop up a chili. Mm -hmm. um, Matt, is it all right if I get you to mince me four cloves of garlic? Sure, absolutely. I'm just gonna go ahead and slice this chili nice and fine. So these starting kind of ingredients, the chili, the garlic and the onion are the flavor. And then I've got one whole onion. Ooh. These IKEA 365 garlic presses are really good. Oh, really? Yeah, they're really easy to load. Um, I like the little movements on it as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go into the pan with one whole onion. Okay. And it was four of these, yeah? Yes, please. I'm gonna place my chili in as well. And whilst you're finishing off that, I'm just gonna slice up a capsicum. So I'm just gonna chop the top and the bottom off. Really easy, just cut around these outside edges. And that keeps the vein on the capsicum. And give it a really quick chop. So the idea when we are cooking this is that we're not exactly caramelizing it. We're just going to be adding a little bit of flavor um, to the pot and we're looking to make the onion a bit translucent, so soften everything up. Okay. I like the, you can see the vegetables in these veggie dogs. Yeah, that's so I like so about nice. this, you can see, like, it looks like kale or spinach and yeah. then carrots, and you can see all of the ingredients inside the sausage. You can like smell them as well, like, you can smell the spices yeah. coming out of them, it's beautiful. 
I've cooked these before. We do have some recipes on the IKEA website for the veggie dogs because they came out in June this year. Oh, it's brand new. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're really new. So we're looking at establishing more uh, plant-based foods, sustainable foods at yeah. IKEA. Well, I love the idea of it. I think it's a smart way forward. I think that's where the planet's really heading. Mm. So it's definitely a massive food trend, something that I love. So I'll get that onion you've just crushed there. Oh, that's perfectly crushed. <laughs> and then we're gonna go back onto the heat. Okay. And we'll get that on like, say, a medium high heat, because mm -hmm. we wanna get all of those flavors started, get the um, onion nice and translucent before we add our spices. Okay. So we can see that the onion is really nice and translucent. Everything's soft. You can smell everything. It smells great. It smells great yeah. so far. So we're going to go in with the tomato paste. We're going to chuck that straight in. We've got some paprika. Some cumin. Some coriander. and a quill of cinnamon. So put that in and we want to mix everything around to make sure the spices get a little bit of that heat. And then what happens when they get the heat, they get a little bit of activation to them. So they become a bit more aromatic and a bit more delicious. And then now we're going to add our tomato. Oh, and the stock, please. And the stock? Yep. Sure. So now the tomato's in, we're gonna fill up our, just got some vegetable stock here. Great. And we'll give that a really good mix through. Perfect. And then in with our chickpeas. So the idea now, we need to let that cook away for a little bit and just let all those flavors come together and marry in the pot. As that's cooking away, we need to chop up our sausages and start on our green salad. Great. So we'll get back to it. Cool. <laughs> okay, so these sausages, mm -hmm. I'm just going to chop them in half and then they're going to go into the pot. I'm going to chop them on the angle just so they look pretty. <laughs> that's fancy. <laughs> so I mentioned before, we just kind of caramelize the outside of them, but we didn't really cook them the whole way through. Mm -hmm. So going now into the um, tagine, we'll cook them the rest of the way through. Perfect. So I'm just gonna slide them into the pot. And I'll give that a quick little mix through. So as all the flavors are working on over there, it's time for us to start on our green salad. And I'm gonna put the whole packet into the pot along with 250 mils of water. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of the cumin and coriander. I feel like that's gonna help tie all of our little bits together today. And we'll give that a nice good mix. And we'll put that onto the heat to cook away. We'll just put that on the heat and we'll leave that now for 10 minutes to cook. Excellent. So whilst that's cooking away, I think it's best to finish off the green salad. Okay. So what I'm going to get you to do is cut a lemon in half. Mm -hmm. And now I need the juice out of the lemon. <laughs> okay. But right. I'll do the worst job. I'll cut the onion. Sure. I'm just going to roll. Here, here, here's my tip. <laughs> I'm just going to roll the lemon and break up the fibers inside it to just release the juice. To let all the juice yeah, come yeah, out Yeah, yeah, and then we can get a little bit more out of it. Such a good idea. So to cut the onion, I just go over the onion one way with the knife. And then I come over the top of it like this. Where's the juice? Do you want the juice in the bowl? In the bowl. Perfect. Lovely, and we'll go in with the onion. Once we're happy with that, it's time to work on these herbs. Right. So I'll take the parsley. If you take the coriander, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna take half a bunch of the parsley. Mm -hmm. And then what we do, 
I do a little bit of a shortcut. I just cut the stem off there. Mm -hmm. Because like the stem of the herb still have a lot of flavour, okay. so all these little stems at the top, I'm fine to put in the salad. Right. So we're just going to do a rough chop. Okay. We're not being too precious here because this is just for a salad. And you don't find that the stalks are a bit too woody. No, like the stalks are full of flavour. Like especially like with um, soft herbs like this, like parsley, coriander. The her um, the stems are definitely fine. So that goes into the bowl. I can smell this coriander already. <laughs> <It's> delicious. <laughs> and then straight into the bowl with some salt and pepper. All of this coriander is going in there? Yes, please. Yeah. What a coriander. <laughs> make sure we don't get the lemon seeds in there. Sorry about that. That's all good. So all the coriander there. Lovely. And then a bit of cracked pepper. And then once our grains are ready, we'll toss that all through and that'll be the end of our green salad. Okay, so time to start on this salsa verde. So I'm gonna grab the herbs. Um, I'm gonna give them a really fine chop and then we're gonna give them a bit of a belting in the mortar and pestle. Okay. You're back on lemon and garlic, so I need the garlic crush. Right. Lemon juiced again. Okay. And whilst you're doing that, I'll chop up these herbs. And we're just going to be utilizing this rapeseed oil here as kind of the hero of this dressing. Chop, 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 chop. We sell a few different rapeseed oils here. They're infused with thyme, garlic. Um, they're actually really good. Yeah. Well, like all of those different flavors are perfect for any type of dressing like this, really. Is this lemon juice going into the Yep, mortar? straight into the mortar and pestle. So we're also gonna put in a little bit of the cumin and a little bit of the coriander. Well, I think that might be enough lemon, actually. Enough? Yep. So you can start on the garlic. garlic. I'll go in with quite a bit of herbs there and we'll start to bash many, them all. How many cloves? I think we'll start with one clove. We might go to two. Perfect. And I'm gonna give it all a bit of a bash. Do you want all of this garlic in? Yep, all of it in would be perfect. Lovely. So now that we're starting to bruise all these herbs, um, I'm going to go in with a bit of this oil. Is that that's the technical term to bruise? Them? <laughs> yeah, that we're bruising. Violent. Them. <laughs> sounds really aggressive. <laughs> what kind of happens there? Just getting more flavoursome, you know. Right. Also leaching out some of the flavour in the juice of the lemon and the herbs, and that's creating our dressing. Okay. And throughout this stage, we can go in with a bit more of the oil. really can smell coriander. Yes. <laughs> well, the coriander, the parsley, they're all so fresh and delicious, and that's what's gonna give a bit of vibrance and relief to this quite flavoursome tajine we have cooking over there. And just in with some salt and pepper, and that will be the end of our dressing. And it looks great. It smells great. Nice and fresh, huh? Yeah. Just give it a good mixy-mixy, and we can put that aside. Nice. So we'll grab our grains. So they've just been sitting in the pot for um, 10 minutes and now they're all ready to go, nice and fluffy. It smells great. Oh, they yeah. smell so good, like a beautiful mushroom flavor. You can smell the cumin and the coriander in there as well. So we're gonna add the grains to our salad bowl, straight in, and then we're going to, once the grains are in there, add a touch more of our rapeseed oil just to help with our dressing and keeping those grains from becoming too clogged up together. Right. And do you carefully want to give that <laughs> Yeah, sure, toss? sure. <laughs> I'll be really careful. Whilst you're tossing that, I'll grab our tagine. Sure. So the tagine's been cooking for about 10 minutes and I can smell all the flavors of there. It's really, really busty with flavors actually. It's so. <laughs> like we're in a Moroccan market. Like, <laughs> it's delicious. So I'm going to put that straight into our serving bowl. Borders are closed, cook some Moroccan food. <laughs> yeah, that's it's it. Travel at home. <laughs> it's your way to get out overseas at the moment is by eating around the world. So we'll just pop that there. 
How's that? Perfect, that looks great. Yes. So our tagines here, I'm just gonna pop on a few little herbies over the top, just to make it look beautiful and vibrant. Tagines done. Grain salad looks beautiful. Great. Thanks for tossing that for me. That's all right. That's okay. <sighs> pop that onto our serving bowl. I was impressed with that tossing myself. <laughs> we'll put a little bit of our salsa verde into our serving bowl. And there we have it. Amazing. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, I am too. <laughs> Absolutely, let's eat some of it. I think it's time that we give it a go. Yeah. Do you want to grab the green salad? For sure. <laughs> Don't forget the sauce of oh. birdie. Excellent. So there's our sauce of birdie, green salad, and our tagine. It smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. But I think like what I'm so impressed with about everything we've been able to do today is with this new range bike here, everything's sustainable, keeping the planet in mind, it's just absolutely amazing. Um, if you want the recipe for these dishes, um, all the weights and the measurements are on the IKEA website. And I just wanna say thank you so much for tuning in to A Better World Starts at Home by IKEA. See you later. <laughs> oh, hey, hey Kel. <laughs> Time for lunch. <laughs> Let me serve you up. So this is the Moroccan tagine. 